Hi Virgo, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot on YouTube and Mimi and Body Advice on Facebook. This is your reading from the 22nd to the 28th of July 2019 and I'm going to explain it in Dutch as this is a video that's completely in English. So bear with me please. Hallo maag, dit is, uh, ik ben Char van Charlie's Angel Tarot op YouTube en Buddy Advies op Facebook. En dit is jullie lezing van de 22e tot de 28e april. Uh, ik ben bezig met de kaarten uit te leggen zoals je kan zien. Ik heb ze net geschud. Uh, en uh, deze video is volledig in Engels. Maar kan je geen Engels, dan wil ik uh, graag een suggestie maken. Je kan de ondertiteling aanzetten door het wieletje te klikken hier. En word lid als je nieuw bent. Welkom naar het kanaal. Hier. En je kan het belletje klikken daar. Ongeveer hier. En dan word je genotificeerd. Wil je niet genotificeerd worden, klik dan niet de bel. Maar dan mis je ook de live sessies. Want ik ga elke dag live. En ik geef een gratis kaart of twee weg. En als je een specifieke vraag hebt, dan kan je dat beantwoorden door de superchat te gebruiken en een donatie te geven. Wil je niet genotificeerd worden, klik dan niet de bel. Maar dan mis je ook je dagelijkse kaart, want ik ga ook live soms. En als ik uh, aan het werk ben, dan laat ik een video achter met dagelijkse kaart. En hier gaan we dan. Ik ga weer terug naar uh, Engels, want deze video is volledig in Engels. Uh, maar de maandelijkse die blijft volledig in Nederlands, apart van de Engelse. Oké, okay, here we go. This is your reading for the 22nd to the 28th, um, Virgo. And I hope you enjoy this reading. This is Monday, Wednesday and Friday and the weekend. The, two, the cards underneath are the clarification cards and the two oracle cards. These readings are the weekly readings and they are in English and I've changed back to the old system because uh, it was too heavy in loading down the other system. Uh, I'm still trying to practice with new uh, readings, new layouts, so bear with me, but I just for now, because I have to make 24 videos for the monthlies in August. I've made this reading, so at least you've got your weekly reading next week. I don't like being late. On Monday, we have the Eight of Earth. That means the Eight of Pentacles. You are working hard and you're getting recognition. But perhaps you want to leave a legacy behind for next generation. But you're getting recognition anyway for your hard work. Perhaps you might get a, a, a job promotion. Um, you're being recognized for your hard work. It could also mean a new study. Perhaps you are going to start a new study or are already knowing which study you are going to follow if you've just finished college, college, college or high school and you know which college you're going to or university. Here again, you can work. You've got the fish. You um, are getting luck in work and business. Um, you uh, can work well in groups. Um, you have also uh, have to get to know your boundaries and let other people know your boundaries so that you will not overwork because you've been busy, busy, busy and learn from that. Okay, on Wednesday you've got the Wheel of Fortune. You can see this dog running away. That's why I'm saying be careful, know your boundaries, don't uh, you know, you can't run before you can walk. This is what I'm hearing. Um, don't go too fast. Take your own pace and set your own pace. Okay, what goes up must come down. You've come to an end of a phase and starting a new phase. You actually might be taking rest before you start this new beginning, this study or this work job. So, uh, because you are getting recognition. So, you might be going on holiday. You might actually be moving to another place to study your course, your choice of course, or you might be moving permanently. Like I said, what goes up must come down, what goes round comes round. So that means karma. If you've done good and you've been nice, it will be coming back to you threefold. And your wish is clarifying this because you've got the star. 
That means your goals and your wishes are coming true. On Friday, you have the nine of earth. You are going into a beautiful new period. The ninth means an end of a slog, an end of a heavy period. You're going into a new period. So does the wheel. Like I said, you're leaving an old face behind and you're starting new. This face will bring you durability for long term. It will bring you a good wage. It will bring security. You are going into a luxury phase. Okay. You cannot see it yet because you've got the eight of sky, the eight of swords. Hold on before I go to this card because we've still got the key. You've got the key in your own hand. You can close doors to quick, 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 busy, busy, busy. You can close doors to negativity. You can close doors to old things, old things. And you can open doors to prosperity. You can open doors to uh, new beginnings. You can open your doors to your wish or your goal that you wish to reach. But set your boundaries, know your boundaries. And here again, at the end of the week, you've got the Eight of Sky, the Eight of Swords. This means that you are too much in your head. So close, the, uh, close that, throw out being in your head, take off the blindfold. This, was, this usually gets depicted with a lady in the center with all the swords around her. Not, uh, we're blindfolded and tied up but the, t uh, the ties are loose so shrug off those ropes and take off the blindfold and see what's in front of you and make that decision yourself and open the door to that new beginning you might be getting a visit or you're going on a visit and to see what the results can bring uh, let's say you've just passed uh, your your graduation day and you want to go to university but you don't know which university you want to go to. So go and visit this university or college and see what the atmosphere is like and see what they can offer. You'll be getting news um, at the weekend as well. You will be making, getting news, could be through, um, it could be through air because you've got air lying above it like email, telephone call or a text message, but you've got the key in your own hand, okay? You can open the door to news. You might be receiving a visitor or, as I said, you can be going on a visit. There will be a, a peaceful resolution to your questions or your issues as you've got the key in your own hand and you're coming to an end of a cycle and beginning new cycles. Just take off those blindfolds and see. It might be a new beginning in love because you are magnetic. You are attracting attention. You, uh, what does it say here? You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. You are enjoying the freedom, freedom after a long slog and a hard study or work. And you are attracting, like I said, you're getting recognition. You're attracting attention. Your wishes and your goals are coming true through to a beautiful new beginning. It could be in romance, but it could also be in work. There will be a resolution and a good one at that because you've got the key in your own hands. You can decide what, which way you're going to go so long you open your eyes and your mind and don't be stuck in your mind. Go forth and find out. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this reading, Virgo. And take care. It's short but strong, like they say in Holland. Short messages can sometimes be clearer than long drawn out messages. So I hope you will enjoy, enjoy this week and stand in your power, my sweeties. Use your power wisely. Okay, and come out of your head. Take care and be blessed. And give me the thumbs up and share and like this video.